Hello there, YouTube. Turan Han here, and have haven't recorded this in a while, but uh, I, I want to record these latest few uh, that I have with my brothers uh, before some of the patches. We I missed some really good ones where my brother was able to get off some um, clutch uh, conversions. But anyway, the big change that I'm doing right now, I kind of switched from Mongols and Abbasids to English, and the main change why I went to English. Because uh, as Abbasids, I was really hurt by the nerf to Manganels. And same with Mongols, but to a less extent. And another thing that I, I uh, that the English, uh, uh, that all range essentially, are, uh, French Arbol Trees, English Longbowmen, uh, Juganu, Chinese Juganu, got a buff in, in by the Mongol by the Manganel nerf, so I wanted to show our sort of new strategy, how we've been doing. I think this is a victory. Yeah, uh, I actually don't quite remember this uh, uh, meetup, but uh, blue is my youngest brother Danyar Angaldan, and the yellow is my middle brother Gollum. He's French, so they don't change HRE and. Uh, HRE blue and yellow French, but here we have our third, uh, fourth ally. His Oscar is a hippo, <laughs> funny name, but he's Abbasids, actually playing Abbasids. And he, uh, right after uh, the house, he immediately goes House of Wisdom. That's actually a smart play. I kind of deny the house. He actually almost ignores and he goes immediately on berries because berries are faster. Berries did get a nerf, uh, both for both Abbasids and the. Uh, Delhi. Uh, what I'm doing here, my standard opening, I start with the house, I get my sheep, and then I go immediately for lumber camp. If anything, what I'm going to change in the, the next time I play English, I would start to go um, kind of a more greedy build, go farms uh, earlier, mills, two mills and farms, and uh, and and uh, wheelbarrow. I don't think I'd do it this game. Um, we're up against, let's see the other team. We're up against, let me remember this. Yeah, orange is uh, Levieli Sapik, he is Orange Mongols. Then we have purple here is Dice as HRE, purple HRE. Teal, uh, we have Teal, uh, Rus, oh, actually now I kind of remember the game, Runoni, I think he would be their strongest kind of MVP player, which is kind of hard to crack. And there is uh, pink French Tulkas 5800. Um, so what's interesting, they are scouting more like a U shape. Uh, this guy, he got a lot of sheep, actually six sheep, and, and he's smart to do that. He'll go straight in the middle, and that's how you mostly get sheep. Apparently, with uh, my brother uh, learning kind of uh, late, is that um, most people have already. Thanks to the much smaller uh, or uh, reduced number of maps uh, that, unlike Age of Empires 2, where there's like over a dozen or maybe two two dozen uh, like like puzzle maps, there's only like six or eight main maps, uh, and what that allows is to actually know where the sheep are and uh, and uh, and to know that they're diametrically placed so they're in expected locations, so like uh, towards the middle or so on. So I. Um, my brother and I haven't really quite mastered that yet, but what I'm doing, uh, but that is how people get like obscene number of sheep, number like like ten or more. Um, so right now we could fast forward this early part. Most of the aggression starts around. Um, we try to do it around 10 minute mark, uh, not the 15 or 16 minute mark. And that's uh, what we did were doing before. But here because. We weren't really focusing. We usually try to do a forward push or or like a middle area. Actually, well, there was one game where we lost where I tried to kind of claim sacred site and they really uh, stopped that. So what I'm doing now is I'm building barracks uh, up close close to me because my closest uh, neighbor is is uh, is Mongol. So I'm kind of anticipating uh, early aggression. Another thing what which I'm doing. I learned the hard way that, for example, if I uh, if I am uh, going the like the English early uh, men at arms MAA, 
and uh, and longbowmen. Even though that's really good because longbowmen just cost wood and long and uh, and other arms gold. Is that is that if I'm a copy as a French player or another uh, maybe a Ruth player or even a Mongols player who goes more early later uh, knights or lancers, I. Uh, Lancers counter my men at arms. So really, unfortunately, as long as English, I do actually ha fare better when I'm going longbowmen and spearmen. I know that's a lot of wood, but, but that's that's what what I've been noticing. Right now, this guy is going for an archer range. Interesting. Um, my uh, middle brother got his first royal knight. I think he is. He's getting a uh, three sheep back. Uh, we have some hunts, and where is the market? I don't think we have scouted the market yet, unless I'm blind. There's a relic. Feudal age. I am. Um... Oh yeah. Oh, that's a that's a Han. Uh, 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 here, I this is a. Um, I think I overreact. I pull all of my villagers because I wanted to get some shots on him because he's an. Like it's not quite a range. That's the power of Han versus a melee scout. He can just be just literally a few yards, a few feet away. And um, yeah, I kind of lose production here. Meanwhile, my uh, he up, went to up to mine work piles already. I am still, I think, in feudal age. Yeah, now I'm putting up a council hall. Usually I try to put a council hall more aggressively. But this time I couldn't. Here, green is kind of scouting teal, uh, teal French, and opposite they they're a good counter f for French. They just go spearman, and I think that's exactly what this guy does. If I remember this match, he just goes spearman, trains nothing else. So see, this is what's uh, kind of a push. We're pushing orange Mongols in hindsight. Mongols are kind of hard and kind of not fruitful. Uh, they're like. A cockroach, like they will survive. They're, if they're smart, they're gonna run away, and you're not gonna completely take them out. So a better uh, target would have been if we, if I put this uh, and and blue, my middle, my young brother, we would push teal because uh, we would hard counter teal pretty hard with some support from green. See here on the on the map at around seven minute mark, seven twenty three. Uh, my middle brother has four knights, a royal knight out, and a scout. And he is looking to, I think, attack these gold miners, which are kind of close to these gold miners here. Uh, there is a building beer nearby, but there's no towers that we know of. Um, let's see. Let's see how this f first early aggression would go. This is like, and this is what we really need from our brother is uh, to hurt. If he kills five or more villagers, that's a really good hit because that's one villager killed. Uh, two, uh, little pathing issues, uh, two of them are not attacking, so this is a bit of a micro, but still he got four, that's pretty good, and then this guy got f gets first knight out, but he's outnumbering him in knights, so Teal is the first to get hit, there, the Han here, I think he sees this, let's check, he actually sees this, he has vision, and, uh, oh, interesting, look at this. The Rus player is playing very aggressive and denying me the hunts, or at least he's not denying me the hunts, but he's getting the gold bounty because he knows I'm going to probably get it. So for me next time, I need to deny him this gold. So that's bad play by me, real good play by uh, Rununi. But Rununi is uh, getting pushed here, um, and he's not... Um, He's not getting any, like, one night down, but he is not getting any gold, he's not getting any wood. So maybe that was overreaction, but he did get a, a one real night down. With these just two scouts, what they also do, they have good vision. They know I have two on stone and I have five on, uh, on uh, gold. What's bad, though, is I am still off only one mil and it's ten minutes. That's really bad. I've seen like the pros. <laughs> uh, I've seen the pros of who was it? Um, not Kaiser Klein. Who was it? Yeah, the Muslim. Uh, he was like at six or seven minute mark. He had two fully saturated mills. 
Yeah, I, I, well, I'm not a pro. That's why. That's why I suck. I still don't have a second mill. When will I get it? I think I am. Uh, what What's nice about English, unlike unlike uh, Abbasids, you have a really good mixed army. I have ten longbowmen, eight spearmen, two men at arms. But you see, I want mostly spearmen because I anticipate Mongols having mostly cavalry. Um, I really don't anticipate a. Uh, Mm, a uh, what's it called? Uh, infantry Mongols, because infantry Mongols would die to my longbowmen. So uh, infantry Mongols actually really uh, vulnerable to uh, to long to to this push. And this is where we're doing this push. Uh, while meanwhile, yellow here is keeping all teal teal teal. This is a wrong teals trying to protect. Uh, 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 I mean. Uh, Pink fr French is trying to protect his ally Teal Rus, but he all these knights that are chasing how many knights? Seven knights are defensive. If they were attacking Green or or me, they would be getting more bang for their buck. So I think that is overreaction. Here we deny him the Uvu, and he has the force of ten Mangudai and five horsemen. But I hard counter him, and what's uh, what I do? I always play do. Palings usually. Well, here I don't. But, and here I have enough spearmen to kind of... See, I have I have some palings, but I think only one person put it up. But see, it hurts. should hurt this guy. Uh, and I here I just uh, uh, focus the fire down the, the Han. And, uh, and, and my spearmen just protect against horsemen. And I keep sending more reinforcements. Uh, here the scouts are trying to scout blue. Teal is mostly, mostly protected. Teal will start a wall against west. He should have done against northeast, but that will be interesting. Here we're pushing with two rams uh, and some arms. And he really, uh, why it's a better tactic is we have finally a range that a matter, that's what men arms need. The HRE needs some range guy, longbowman or Zhuganu. Or oh, Albatris, you can't do so early, but in feudal, yeah, you uh, longbowmen are so powerful because yeah, I can snipe. I saw this monk come up. I sniped that monk. I think this is a game where I snipe again. But as you can see, uh, the Mongol just player just runs away. But what's good? We deny them stone. He has no uvu at this point. His deer stone is down, so he's one landmark down. So his only landmark is his starting. Town centers. This is actually a landmark. So what's actually pop? That's I think that's only civilization in Age of Empires 4, which can move its original landmark to a safer position like this. Otherwise, you'd be dead by this point. That if you were French or any other player, this he couldn't. No player alone could withstand two players attacking him at once like this. And he had no help from from Purple. I think Purple is doesn't even have. Well, who's here, Cherry? Purple is HRE. I don't think he has any troops. Well, he does have troops, but very few. And there's the blue troops hurt, but already uh, trying to pressure, put an outpost. And here we're attacking with support from yellow because yellow's uh, my yellow French, my uh, middle brother, basically wheeled around over here. And now we're pressuring purple. Teal is next. Uh, pink is healing his knights, not helping purple. Again, we have this ideal scenario where. We're basically 3v1, or right now it's 2v1, because blues, uh, the man around are dead, but it's still a 2v1 situation. And technically, yes, it's a 3v1 situation, because uh, blues support uh, helping with the rams. And this is a bad setup for him, because he went HRE knights. I'm kind of scared of his spearman, uh, man at arms more than his knights. Cause, and that's the thing, I have... I don't even have 10 spearmen, I have just 7, just enough. I build, starting to build my own rams. And we're just really pressuring purple at this stage. And we don't see... Teal is right below him. And actually, I think this is a far... Yeah. He has a pretty defensive position here. If he like he can get 20 in. Yeah, my without rams, I can't push this. Then I see... It, uh, there need, needs help here against Teals. Here I didn't really support my guide, uh, my allies too much. I should have, but I was just afraid of the purple men at arms. I'm not afraid of his spear uh, um, knights. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Let's see from purple's perspective. Oh, here gre green starts attacking uh, uh, pink French, green H uh, abbasids, and, and, and he can't really engage because they're spearmen. They're a hard counter. Uh, so here, uh, we're just burning down these towers. He has another tower here. Uh, it's a right response. And finally, uh, Teal is sending knights. Again, not the counter with longbowmen, with palings and spearmen. I I'm pretty safe. As long as I keep my spearmen close by. Of course, they destroy Blue's rams, and I don't do a good job of it, but I have my own ram here. And I think we're not quite ready to take out Purple, but we did hurt them a lot. And here, I just don't have enough mass. I do eat these horsemen. They try to burn down this battering ram. I don't think they're able to do it in time. But I can't push this town center with, with no rams. And that's where I, I, I try to get as many villager kills here as possible and move, uh, and leave, basically. Because I see here at this point, from my perspective, I know there's a mass. I see them. I have reinforcements coming, but I just no rams. I can't push a tower and a town center like this. And, and actually, at this point... We decide to do a switch. They're expecting us to keep pushing purple. But we do a huge switch to on the right. Mainly because, look, we do notice uh, that Teal is being really heavily pressured by 17 spearmen here. So instead of pushing here. and But what, what, what I'm doing inadvertently by having a ram here in their view. And I can see this too. Oh, they're trying to convert these... Was he able to get it off? Oh, <gasps> he did! Wow, Rununi just converted with his warrior monk, which is they're much more mobile. Three royal knights. I want to see where these royal knights go because... Oh, no! I did hear that and, uh, and I thought he was able to get away in time, but he didn't. So there is a neat, uh, awesome conversion. Oh, against us, but... Very, very, yeah. These are my royal knights of uh, of my brother. Here, uh, yellow's helping. Oh, yellow, yeah. He, uh, yeah, that's my brother uh, who just lost these three knights. But they're in this middle part, and they, yeah, they clean me up. They kill me and the and, and the ram. But uh, teal's army is not helping. Uh, pink here, and pink is taking a back seat. He's going in with another town center. It's actually town center booming that we're not doing. If, if we look at, uh, at, our, at our base, I'm filing at two mills, but at this point, 20 minutes in, I should ideally be at three mills. Um, I don't have no walls. I'm just starting to put up a, just, I, I'm trying to like protect me and and blue from having any like a sneak attack from there. I'd rather deal with a straight up here. But what I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm just going with all this force, and we're, we're switching, we're switching. And at this point, that's exactly what I want to see, what, what are they doing? Purple's troops are still in, in the west. He's trying to protect this western area, where and the Han is here, so they, again, that shows that they are expecting attack from the west. He switched to an ar archers, which is actually smart. He should have maybe... No, no, long crossbowman would not be smart. He is going step, step three down, down here. Uh, he's getting berries. Oh, he is getting hunts. Okay, that's more that's more like it. Uh, uh, I don't know. And purple's getting hunts because he's not really farming. Whoa, where is purple farms? Oh, he has just four villagers on berries and and some few villagers. Six more here. I guess he's yeah he's de delaying his farms or maybe his farms were delayed be, be delayed because of the attacks. He's building a guild hall here. Uh, he's walling in the north. Let's see. Greed. Oh, actually that's not north. That he's being protective walling. He did the right wall. But basically I was trying to do same as green, trying to have at least our front lines uh, secure so no night force can just come in and. Attackers. Of course, there's this wide area in the middle. 
but here we're making a switch to attack teal. I mean, uh, excuse me, pink, pink French. Tulka's 5800. While here, uh, Mongol player. I, oh, I get it. Why he's so focused on the West? He's trying to regain his deer stones. Uh, thankfully, there's one early man at arms here, uh, and he has these five villagers who were on gold here. And I need to do a better job of scouting the map. They scout north here, and the middle there's one knight. Oh, there's the three knights from there. They're all healed up. But we're attacking now from French. And green has just 42 spearmen. So even just with green alone, he would... But this is one, two, three. Three players attacking him. Where, where are yellow's knights? They're coming, they're coming. So basically, yeah, we gang up. We gang up on on T on French here, and Strelaj with us. They're shooting at us. Wait, but Runoni. Oh yeah, because I'm, I'm looking at Runoni, and he's Rus. Here, I have some f denying him deer stones. He has. He'll probably beat this. But if I just have more men arms, I would beat this. But my focus right now is taking the French uh, the French player out. And look how focused our ally, Oscar the Hippo, is. Green Abbasids. Just completely taking him out. Teal is no his next. He's marshalling forces. He went knights. But against... I don't think they'll survive. Here he bit at... He beat me. Oh, and oh, see exactly. See five knights, and they were able to go because I didn't finish the wall. Exactly what I uh, anticipated happened. If I was just in time with other villagers instead of going here, if I went left, I wouldn't be attacked. But thankfully, I had a big army here. Twenty-three spearmen, longbowmen. I lose few villagers. I think two, maybe more, but. Teal French is about to die. That's his last landmark. He has no villagers. He's out. He's effectively destroyed, yeah. And... Oh, he has some villagers, actually. No, but he's out. Teal is out. Ah, pink. Ah. <coughs> Keep saying teal. It's pink. Purple. Kills, I think, maybe just one villager. And one stone miner. Oh, Levi Sapic. Oh, so the orange Mongol immediately leaves. And Teal immediately leaves, even though we're still uh, mostly fighting here. Purple just left. Oh, so because they lost this big battle here, and I still have seven men at arms, has more spearmen. And then, okay, so this big fight. So there's one raid, which I anticipated. I just was not quick enough. And there you go. Um, that was very good play on us. We didn't keep going the same direction where they had most defenses. We went again on using the momentum of our ally, Green Green Abbasid, to, uh, to take out a second guy, essentially. And with two uh, people uh, so hurt and, de and denied booming, uh, that's what uh, that's what we next. I will cover maybe the defeat or uh, these two victories if they're in patch. It's hard to tell whether it's in patch or not. I know not all of these were in patch, so uh, we'll see. But same time, I will, uh, maybe I'll end here. And uh, I really want to cover the new game Dune Spice Wars. And just today I dropped. Uh, uh, Age of Empires 2 DLC pack, uh, the Dynasties of India, I think, where they completely revamped Indians and uh, split them into four uh, new civs. The Indians, the previous Indians became the Hindustanis, and they added the new Gurjaras, the Dravidians, and um, Bra uh, and Bengalis. Yeah, my Bengali friends and my Indian friends will be very happy about that. Uh, what's cool, though, why I want to it's like three, exp 
campaigns included. I'll start with the Babur one, of course, because it's a mix between Tatars and Hindustanis. Uh, and then I do the rest, but I really want to replay Pris Viraj because what I noticed just by looking at the campaign that it's no longer the old Indian stuff because it's no longer exists in this build in this game. It's actually the Gurjara campaign. So they actually have a campaign for all the four sieves, yes. So, uh, so that's so that's ex exciting as well, uh, but I think I'll f cover Dune Spice Wars first, and then start on the campaigns on the Age of Fires 2. But I just wanted to cover that, kind of show where the meta is right now. That uh, that I I am playing English now, uh, instead of uh, Abbasids or or Mongols. I will try Mongols again, but I will not try Abbasids or or uh, Delhi until Manganel is buffed again. Because right now Manganels are basically useless. Uh, Rebaldicans are actually pretty strong against infantry. They're kind of taking the Manganel role of anti-infantry, anti-mass, but they're only available in Imperial, only to English and French, so they're kind of a niche unit. So I don't want Rebaldican nerfed. I want Manganel not to be buffed again to the extreme level that it was before, but, but make it more useful. All right, over and out.